it out. Straight as can be. Yes. All right, I'm going for it. I got it. I'm building a bench by deconstructing the tennis balls and I'm reapplying them to another piece. Not very often you drill through tennis balls. Well, that's fancy, Ms. Jess. Thank you. A table? Ottoman. I'm just praying that I can pull this off. I've got all these pieces, and now I have to lay them perfectly on the form because I want all of my screws to line up. And that's taking a lot of time. Very cool. I'm pissed off. Why? The material that I thought was going to work is failing. I was going to use jump rings to, like, chain them together. Jump rings, the little metal ring that's already shaped. And I thought I could attach all of the circuit boards together. Mother with that material. But it just kept falling apart on me. With the time winding down like this, I have to go to plan B and use hot glue. And it kills me. I hate hot glue. It's like the epitome of a craft project. It sucks. What's going on? I abandoned the one part where I was going to have the springs coming up around. We're going to go with a solid wood beam across there to help hold all the tension in and be a little stronger for me. I ended up with a bench. I'm going to use the wire not only as an aesthetic, but it's going to be a structural component. This is just a pedestal table. I've got to get this up to a nice, more polish. i got to fill these cracks. i got to do all that sort of mess of stuff. It's great. It looks like stone or marble. I'm really surprised at what Jason's doing. Taking the CDs, melting them down, it has this kind of stone marble feel. It doesn't really matter what the medium is. It's about how creative you are and how you're able to adapt to the situation. I have like my version of writer's block. Just the chair I was going with, it, it didn't work out. Craig got what I thought was probably one of the easier materials. The cool thing about this is you don't really know that it's PVC, but then you, yeah. you kind of read it a different way, and it's, you know, the shadows, the negative space. When I'm under a pressure or a deadline, sometimes my mind just kind of shuts down. Yeah, it's cool, but it's like, where do I go from here? Everything I've tried just doesn't work out. 